Hello everyone, welcome to this new video. I hope you guys will enjoy it because I've been excited to make a new video for some time now. And I was sick, but now I'm not sick anymore, so I can finally do it. I hope the quality is okay and hope the lighting is okay. Um, I have some light set up, but it's dark right now because it's dark very early where I live. So I'm sorry if it's not very clear, but I tried my best. Anyway, my last video was about drawing hair and since that video I got a lot of requests for uh, specific hairstyles and that video was basically how I draw hair in general. So if you want to check that out, it's really handy to have that um, base knowledge of how I draw hair uh, to kind of get into this video because I already drew the top part of the hair. So I'll put a link somewhere on the screen so that you can check that out as well. I wanted to make something shorter and simpler than that, so I hope this video is going to be clear and nice. Um, for this video, I'll be drawing a braid. So like I just said, I already drew like most of the hair and if you're curious about how I draw and how I sketch out hair, just go to that other video and uh, I have that all explained right there. I'm going to go draw the braid and it's going to fall over her shoulder. So. Um, you kind of have her hair from the top of her head and it falls down, but it's all pulled to the side because it's going to be a side braid that falls over the shoulder like I just said. So um, with her parting being on this side, I'm going to draw the braid right here. And what I'm going to do is kind of pull all the hair. Yeah, kind of make it pull to that side. Um, it's very hard to explain it in non actual hair terms because you would literally just move the hair to one side but yeah just draw it, um, it it's kind of loosely pulled to the side some volume in there still because I like voluminous braids maybe I should call the video like have the video title be how to draw a voluminous braid uh, I don't know I wanted to make something short and simple and I'm going to go and ramble about things. That's that's not a good thing. Okay, now, well, the braid should start probably around here and I'm going to take the eraser because um, it's obviously going to fall over her shoulder here so you're not going to be able to see the shirt as much. Normally I wouldn't draw the shirt even like there, that part, because I would be like, here's the braid. But I drew the shirt first because I wasn't into the tutorial yet, so I'm sorry for that unrealistic view of my working process but yeah you know what I mean so what I'm going to do first is kind of sketch out where the braid is going to be it's going to fall over her shoulder and it's going to lean on this bit right here sketch very lightly and uh, it's going to kind of go in this shape because obviously she's a lady so she has some volume around this area even though I didn't draw much of it. So it's, it's kind of gonna fall over that and just straight down from here. Okay, that's, that should be clear enough. Now, when I draw braids, I usually go for very simple shapes. I know people that draw S's and stuff like that, but I like to build in kind of blocks more rather than the outlines because um, drawing is really about the illusion of a three-dimensional uh, object subject in a two-dimensional medium so I, I like to think in shapes and kind of work with that as when I sketch so what I do first is sketch out the shapes for the braid and I'm going to start at the top because the braid is going to be the fullest right there and I'm going to draw a shape that is pulled together at the top and pulled together at the bottom and it's kind of um, leaning on this side here so it's a little bit more flat but the basic shape is kind of like I don't know a leaf you could call it a leaf but they're going to get squished together as we stack them so we have that first leaf kind of thing going on right here so I'm going to stack another leaf on top of that and it's going to be kind of hidden behind the other leaf I don't know if that's very clear but um, that's how I do it because the hair is kind of going to be tucked in there so what I'm going to do now is draw a, another leaf underneath that and draw another leaf on this side and 
while you go down because you know when it's connected to the rest of the hair and when it's at the bottom it's going to be a little bit more unclear what the shapes really are but um, when you draw the braid the leaves kind of go together as a you know a heart shape almost I, I mean you can see this is a heart shape right just kind of draw those and I make smaller ones towards the bottom you can go on as long as you like <laughs> but I think I'm going to stop right here and draw some loose hair it's going to be another kind of leaf shape at the bottom but I'm going to go into that later so what's really important is that they um, they're kind of loose in this area and then they get tucked in towards the bottom of each leaf so these edges are really sharp and then very soft on the outside and there's lots of volume here and that's basically how a braid really works you just pull strands of hair over each other and you pull them tightly where they meet so that's kind of how they should look in your drawing now to kind of give this more of a um, hair look kind of texture I don't know you can simply draw a lot of hairs on and what really is important about this is that you don't just go and draw lines all over this because once again it's about a three-dimensional illusion and the lines are going to be far more visible towards the, the tighter areas of the braid so where there is less volume so when you focus on those parts when it comes to the lines, it's going to create almost a, um, a gradient effect in the light, which makes it like a shading almost. See where I'm going with that? <laughs> now to make this a really fun braid, because I haven't gone all the way down with the shading but that's not important for now I will just finish up later um, but to make it even more realistic I don't know how to put that to words really well um, I want this to be a little bit more messy but I draw a lot of loose hairs around the braid and kind of make these like really thin leaf shapes so that there's some volume in there still Some hair springing out. Tie them all together right here. And what often happens at the bottom of a braid is that uh, not all the ends are going to be even because um, it's going to be pulled from the side. Even when you don't have layers, they're going to be shorter ends to it. So you kind of want to draw short hairs and longer hairs to get that effect. So that is the end result of how I draw a braid. I later added some color to it, which I will show you right now. I did that with liquid watercolors of Ecolina. I don't know if that's the English name, whatever. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was useful to you guys. Please like, please subscribe, and please leave suggestions in the comments below so that I can make new videos. I want to do more hairstyles because I cannot cover them all in one video. So if you have any ideas for that, if you really want to see those, let me know. And and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!